For Nikon enthusiasts and professional photographers, there's a lot to get excited about. The buzz in the camera world revolves around the rumored Nikon Z9 Mark II, a camera that could redefine Nikon's flagship mirrorless lineup. While much of what we know comes from leaks, historical patterns, and a careful reading of Nikon's previous product cycles, the anticipation is tangible. If Nikon follows the timeline it has established over the years, the Z9 Mark II could appear right before the 2026 Winter Olympics in Milan Cortina. This timing isn't accidental. Nikon has consistently released its top-tier cameras around Olympic years, ensuring that professional photographers have the best tools available for capturing high-stakes, fast-paced events. Looking back, this pattern is unmistakable. The D1H debuted around the Sydney 2000 Olympics, the D2H, D3, D4, and D5 followed suit in subsequent Olympic cycles, and in 2020, the D6 appeared just before the Tokyo Games. When the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics arrived, Nikon released the Z9, cementing its position as a full-frame mirrorless powerhouse. With this history in mind, a late 2025 release for the Z9 Mark II seems more than plausible. It feels almost inevitable. The timing of this launch is not the only reason the Z9 Mark II is generating attention. Nikon's original Z9 has been at the pinnacle of its mirrorless lineup since its release in late 2021, and it has delivered exceptional performance for professionals. However, a lot has changed in the camera landscape since then. In May 2023, Nikon launched the Z8, which shares roughly 90% of the Z9's capabilities but comes in a smaller, more manageable body and at a more affordable price. The Z8 quickly became the preferred choice for many photographers who didn't need the larger Z9 body or its extended battery life. Its compact design, reduced weight, and more approachable pricing made it an attractive option while maintaining excellent performance. As a result, Z9 sales began to plateau. This creates a challenge for Nikon. They need to clearly differentiate their flagship model from the rest of their lineup. AZ9 Mark II could accomplish that by reasserting the camera's position as Nikon's ultimate professional tool, demonstrating what separates the top-tier model from the mid-range offerings, and giving professionals a reason to invest in the absolute best Nikon has to offer. So, what can photographers realistically expect from the Nikon Z9 Mark II? Based on credible leaks and industry speculation, the Z9 Mark II is likely to retain its 45-megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor the same resolution that helped the original Z9 dominate the market. However, the real improvements are expected to come from enhancements beneath the surface. The rumored introduction of Nikon's XE8 image processor could be transformative. A more powerful processor would allow for faster autofocus, more intelligent subject tracking, and improved low-light performance. Beyond speed, this could also usher in more advanced AI-assisted focusing. While Canon and Sony have already begun integrating sophisticated AI-based tracking systems, Nikon could leverage the XE8 processor to implement or improve features like face detection, animal tracking, and even bird eye autofocus. Patents and internal testing hints suggest that Nikon is actively exploring these capabilities, making the Z9 Mark II not just an incremental update, but potentially a next-generation tool for professional photographers. Video capabilities are another area where the Z9 Mark II could stand out. The original Z9 was groundbreaking for internal 8K recording, but Nikon's recent investment in RED, a company known for high-end cinema cameras, hints at a serious push to elevate video performance. Integration of RED technology could mean expanded color profiles, improved RAW formats, and superior compression quality transforming the Z9 Mark II into a compelling hybrid camera for both stills and video. This aligns with the industry trends where hybrid performance, high-quality photography and cinema-grade video is increasingly essential for professionals. In practice, this could result in the Z9 Mark II delivering more versatile shooting options, from action-packed sports photography to cinematic storytelling, without compromise. This focus on convergence between stills and video might redefine what it means to be a top-tier professional mirrorless camera in 2025 and beyond. Despite the excitement, Nikon must also learn from past missteps. The launch of the original Z9 in 2021, while impressive, was not without issues. 
Several promised features were absent or incomplete at release, requiring firmware updates over time to deliver the camera's full potential. Early adopters often found themselves waiting months for features to work as advertised, which is not ideal for professionals who need immediate reliability. If Nikon wants the Z9 Mark II to make a strong impact ahead of the 2026 Winter Olympics, it cannot afford to repeat these missteps. Professionals will need time to test, customize, and become comfortable with the camera well before stepping onto the Olympic stage. The camera must perform flawlessly from day one, whether it's capturing high-speed skiing, figure skating routines, or ice hockey matches. Delayed features or incomplete software would undermine the credibility of Nikon's flagship once again. This brings up another important consideration. Will Nikon opt for a development announcement or a full product release in late 2025? The distinction matters significantly. If the company only teases the camera as a development model, professional photographers will have limited time to evaluate and adapt to it before a major global event. Full deployment requires months of testing, customization, and familiarization, which is crucial for high-stakes professional environments. Therefore, it is likely that Nikon will aim for a full product release rather than just a teaser, ensuring that teams, agencies, and independent professionals have sufficient lead time. A complete release by December 2025 or January 2026 would align perfectly with the upcoming Winter Olympics, allowing professionals to integrate the Z9 Mark II into their workflows without risk. From a strategic standpoint, the Z9 Mark II represents Nikon's next big move in the full-frame mirrorless market. With Canon and Sony aggressively competing across both flagship and hybrid shooter segments, Nikon has maintained a more focused approach, concentrating on pro-level bodies such as the Z9 and Z8. The Z63 is expected to deliver mid-range upgrades, but the Z9 Mark II will define the high end, providing a benchmark against which all other models can be measured. This trickle-down effect allows mid- and entry-level cameras to inherit features progressively while preserving the flagship's uniqueness. If RED-inspired video technology is successfully integrated, Nikon could carve out a niche as the preferred platform for both professional stills and high-quality video, potentially distinguishing itself from Canon's hybrid dominance and Sony's speed-focused systems. For photographers, the key takeaway is this. If the Z9 Mark II meets its rumored specifications and launches on schedule, it could offer a unique combination of cutting-edge technology, pro-level reliability, and hybrid shooting capabilities that are hard to match. Its anticipated features address the lessons learned from the original Z9 while incorporating new tools to meet modern professional demands. Nikon fans and pros alike should keep a close eye on every development, teaser, and leak because this camera could not only maintain Nikon's legacy but push the boundaries of what a mirrorless flagship can achieve.